Okay, so before we get started with the video, I gotta show you something that just came in the mail. This is absolutely awesome. I ordered this on Amazon, even though it's sold through Costco. And I needed something that was more convenient than what I currently had. So what you're looking at here is a really cool dual purpose dolly. And it's rated up to like 300 pounds. But let me show you what's cool about this. So to open it, you're simply going to release it from here like this. Let's pull it upright. So now it's locked into place in this configuration. You can lift this up and now you have a really cool kind of four point rolling dolly. So this is a tray. This is actually all flat right here. You could probably put a board or something on top of it if you want. And this is currently in a cart mode. Now you can convert this into a hand truck mode simply by lifting this up and locking that in place. So now we have a hand truck. Again, 300 pound load capacity on this thing. Super cool, works really well. The only criticism I saw in some of the reviews was that the casters up front weren't that great, but they actually appear to be pretty nice. They're ball bearing casters. The wheels are plastic. It would have been nice if they used a little bit higher end roller here instead of these plastic ones. But the hardware, everything is actually secured pretty well up here. But this is super awesome and it comes in really handy. And I can throw this in the back of my truck or my cargo trailer or one of the cargo trailers and just have a ton of flexibility. And it can hold so much more capacity than some of the other folding ones you may have seen. Now the big critique here besides what people said with the wheel or the caster here is this front tray doesn't stick out far enough. I think this platform should probably be maybe four inches deeper. Of course, that's gonna change how leverage affects the assembly and how much stress it puts down here. But I think for this to be more practical, right now it's about six inches deep. It should probably be closer to 10 inches deep. That way you can put things like, you know, cases of water, paper, things like that on here and have a bit more stability so you don't have to, you know, lean it over real far to be able to pick things up. But I paid about 80 bucks for this. That's kind of the magic is that it's super affordable. I'm not sure how much all this is gonna hold up over time because it is all plastic even though the main parts of the structure, the structural parts are steel, but it's very cool. And it's gonna have a ton of usefulness for me at least, especially when I'm moving things around. Now to collapse it, all you're gonna do is flip this down, flip this over, and you'll see the top start to swing down right here. It puts it back into this cart mode like this. And then to close it, you're gonna press this button down right here and then fold the handle in when you do it. Now, the part you wanna be careful of when you're closing this are these back wheels because they wanna kinda of slingshot in quickly. So if your fingers are right here, you might actually hit your fingers. So be very careful because if you're holding it right here when it comes in, these will definitely bang up your fingers a little bit. And then you simply close, oh, I did this backwards. Let me uh, pull this back out. There we go. And then you have your little wheels here to roll it around. You can kind of hold it from right here. But this is super cool and for, you know, 80 bucks, I have to say it's a relative bargain, especially considering what it does. Now, be realistic when you use something like this. I wouldn't recommend, you know, overloading it or trying to really, you know, test it to its max. This is definitely something that just makes life a little easier, but understand what its limitations are. Anyways, guys, I'll put a link in the description of this video if this is something you might be interested in. Again, I purchased it on Amazon, so this is something anybody should really have access to. Guys, I'll let you know how it works in the long run though. What's going on guys? So I am out here today at my mini cargo trailer finishing up a project that I started a couple days ago. Basically, I layered this rubber kind of diamond plate mat onto the ramp area. I have more material if you missed that video coming in to do this area right here. And uh, I just didn't have enough of this. I had enough of this for the ramp door and this little swing down portion, which I haven't put on yet, which is what I'm gonna do today. But again, I am waiting on more material for this area right here. But we are gonna do another project today back here as well. So this is gonna be kind of an interesting video. All in all, this entire project takes about two days for everything. Well, I take that back. I could have knocked it all out in one day, but I got started pretty late uh, initially, and that's why I was only able to do the ramp here. Trimmed it off with this aluminum channel all the way around, or at least on three sides. The ramp gate, or this little hinge right here that 
attaches to this is essentially what holds it down there. But yeah, I'm gonna be putting this material, it's upside down right now, onto that, and then mounting it back over here. And then we are going to paint the inside of the cargo trailer in preparation for the mat that's gonna go down in here as well. And you can see all the E-Track I have laid out here. I have four of the eight foot sections and I have one of the five foot section. I might need another piece there so I can have two of them here on this wall. We're gonna remove all of these little D-rings that are currently connected on the wall and replace it with this as well. But three of these pieces may go up today on the walls when the paint dries, if it dries today. But the other two pieces will go on the floor here and I'm not gonna put them on until we get the mat in place. But that's the project for today. And you can see that they've already put some rings down here on the floor to be able to secure things down. But I put these smaller ones in place just to use some ratchet straps for when we were moving some stuff around. But yeah, it's coming along. What do you guys think? Okay, so I got the whole thing covered and trimmed off. It's looking really good so far. I just need to put my half inch aluminum channel down around the edge. I'm not gonna put any on this side right here since the hinge is gonna be holding that piece in place. I trim off the sides though. Then I have some bumpers that are gonna go underneath it that come in tomorrow, so pretty cool project. It's coming along pretty good so far. So yep, just gonna get the channel in place, get it screwed on, reattach it to the back of the uh, gate, and we'll be ready to go. Just got the ramp reattached to the bottom here. Check that out. I think that looks fantastic. This hinge holds it down on this end, but then I have the aluminum channel going all the way around the other end. Just gotta get the bumpers put on the bottom. We'll be done with the entire ramp door. Okay, so we took a little bit of a breather here. Check it out. I forgot what color we went with. This is a, like a slate gray, I think. We didn't want to go with white completely just because it's too easy to get dirty. And there's a couple holes right here where we had some D-rings. This is high gloss, but you know, plywood absorbs a lot of paint. So we're only gonna hit it with two coats. It's not gonna be like, like you would see, you know, high gloss cabinetry or anything, but it's coming along pretty good so far. So far, he's been able to finish all of this with about a third of a gallon. So we only got one gallon, so hopefully we can finish off the rest. And again, the flooring is gonna be covered with something else, so he's not spraying that part. Looks good. Okay, so we are losing light, but everything looks really good. I have a couple pieces of E-Track already mounted. Two eight-foot sections here one five foot section there. I like to mount my lower E-Track almost as low as possible, even though I'll have these two pieces kind of spread out on the floor, just because anytime I'm trying to strap something down in the back, I wanna have it as close to the ground as possible in terms of being able to tension the straps. And then I put my other E-Track a bit higher, so I'll have another one right there in the center. You wanna be a little careful with how you mount it because whenever you do your E-Track right here, if you put it over this, piece of trim right here, it can make it a little difficult at times to get your actual clamps on. I had that up here at first, but I figured until I get another piece, it'll be more useful for me down there. The flooring should be coming in pretty soon. So once the flooring comes in, that'll be the next part of this project to uh, get it all laid down. But I'll tell you, the ramp makes a world of difference. The paint makes a world of difference. I mean, it really looks good. Got a little overspray in some areas, but I told him I absolutely didn't mind. Again, I wasn't looking for perfection. Got some 
masking I did here and I got to touch up those areas because I, believe it or not, that was my fault when I was masking the areas right here. I was masking around the door. I wasn't anticipating that I was going to have the door painted, but then I realized I told him just go ahead and paint the door. And then when I pulled the tape off, you could see the trim around it. So we're going to paint that off. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much done with some of these projects that I've been wanting to do. I'm still thinking about putting kind of like a little workbench right up front here. It would just take up maybe this area of the front. So a good reference point would be where this piece of paneling is. It would be up here though. And it would give me just a little bit of room to put something. I'll put a little lip on it so I can store some supplies, maybe some ratchet straps, stuff like that there. But overall, it's coming along. It's looking really good. Once I get the flooring in, it'll look even better. And I'm gonna put caulking right here on the seams just so air can't possibly come up, even though this is tongue and groove, so I shouldn't have an issue with that because you don't want your flooring to lift up if air gets in between there and underneath. So far, what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. Definitely anticipating having it done so I can put it to work and use it for some other really cool carrying solutions that I'll show you in a future video. Some of you may be able to guess what I plan on carrying around in here. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.